Oh God, that sucks so much. I guess I'm still drunk. Um, it was take three. I did a haul video and it was funny. It was good. It flowed, but I go to check and I guess I wasn't recording. So trigger warning, if you don't want to see a haul, don't watch this. I'll probably put it in the title. It's, it's a haul. Uh, I'm bragging about a lot of stuff. I'm bragging about all the stuff that I bought drunk. I'm bragging about the dinner that I had at Morton Steakhouse. So don't watch if you're offended by those things. So, um, yeah, it's all on the bed. I pulled it out of these bags. It's 3, 3.30 in the morning in San Antonio. Uh, I don't get out much, but I accidentally gave my Leo X two $50 gift cards to Morton's. Yeah, Father's Day, we were in Target, me, the ex, and the son. And I told the son, I said, okay, pick out a, a Father's Day card for your dad. And I think he picked out a Batman card. And then we were in line and... I was looking at the gift cards and, you know, you see all the usual stuff over and over again, like Subway and Panda Express, Starbucks, but Morton's just jumped out. And so I, I got to by accident and you think, oh, didn't that occur to you when you were checking out? I'm not that kind of person who notices things like that. So I try to be free with money to the point of idiocy, many would say, because of law of attraction and the way I was brought up. I'm constantly fighting the five of pentacles. And yesterday I was actually thinking, I'm going to write a story and the title is going to be five of pentacles. I'm putting together this short story collection. I'm calling stories from uh, previous, previously self-published collection and a novel in process and progress. I've got the rough draft. But anyway, so I'm doing a short story collection. So see, this didn't happen in the take that I didn't record. It just, it flowed and there was nothing awkward and it was really good. Uh, short story collection. Oh yeah, Five of Pentacles. So I'm always fighting that poverty consciousness, that lack mentality. And I'm fortunate because I don't have to pay rent. I've got one bill that I pay really, well, two bills, my Discover card and Verizon. So um, the ex did tell me in the Minger bar. So we went, okay. I got him two gift cards to Morton's because in 2014, I was tired. I was done with the fuck boys in San Antonio. I said, you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a solo honeymoon at the Minger, the historical hotel in downtown San Antonio. That's in the Alamo. So I went to the Minger. I got a room and then I went to Morton's and uh, then I sang karaoke in the Riverwalk. Anyway, it's just a really classy place. It's the nicest restaurant I've ever been in in my life. Uh, so, yeah, we got to Morton's and it wasn't open yet. I said, okay, we're going to the Minger Bar. So we walked across to the Minger Bar, which is famous because of Teddy Roosevelt. And there's a statue with Teddy Roosevelt. And it's in front of the Alamo. So we went in there and then... Uh, I had a Modelo and I was telling the ex, I said, you know, it's ridiculous. San Antonio is a Mexican city. Yeah, it's an American city, but it's, uh, it's a Mexican city, Hispanic, Latino. Uh, and the best beer on the planet is Indio, which I discovered going across to Madame Morris with the Scorpio X, the artist, Scorpio artist. We went across once to Progresso and then we went across 
twice to Madame Morris. The last time, I guess, was in 2016, March 2016. Anyway, that's where I found Indio, my favorite beer of all time. And the only place in San Antonio you can get Indio is at Central Market, this bougie grocery store in Alamo Heights. Talk about the 5D. You walk into the doors. To me, it's total 5D at Central Market. It's nothing at all like Walmart. Um, I don't go to Walmart. I get my groceries at Amazon Fresh. But we go to Central Market on occasion. Anyway, um, I said, this is bullshit. I said, there should be Indio beer in every bar, every restaurant in San Antonio. And he had an idea. He said... You know, you could contact Indio and they could be a sponsor. So yeah, Indio needs to sponsor me here and on Sarantero. Okay, so we had a drink in the bar and I wanted to take the ex to the humidor because when I was there in 2014 at the Minger, I went into the humidor and I got a Romeo y Julieta. No, it wasn't Romeo y Julieta. It was um, Arturo Fuente. I got an Arturo Fuente cigar and the clippers and the lighter. And I went and sat in the courtyard and had a beer and smoked a cigar. Then I went and sang karaoke. We went to where the humidor used to be. Now it's a magic shop, a really badass, high class magic shop. So the ex saw this. He said, I got to get that for you. The sirens of song. Um, I never spend this much on a tarot deck, but this was a very nice gift. Uh, and the cashier was really cool. She took down the name of my channel, Siren Tarot. Um, I want to go back to that store. There's a lot of stuff there that I want to get. Uh, then we went to Morton's and... You can hear my stomach. I got a ribeye with the bone-in medium. I made the mistake for years of eating medium well, but if you're going to get a steak, my opinion, you can't get better than medium. So, um, my son had an appetizer. Lobster mac and cheese just showed up and the ex kept trying to get me. I said, no. I said, I can't with seafood. I'm not a seafood person. Yeah, I can eat shrimp sometimes, but I, I can't do lobster or crab or any of that. Although I do like a good gumbo, but I've not had a good gumbo in years. I'm very picky about gumbo. I don't want any sausage or chicken in there. I just want it to be the crab and whatever else they put in gumbo, but with a thick black roux. Um, and I was being facetious. I was drunk and I was, well, to me, I was drunk because I never drink. And I had a glass of, I think it was Prosecco. They didn't have the Spanish cava. And then the ex got a bottle of Tempranillo and I had a few glasses of that apparently. Uh, I was being facetious. I said, I can't with seafood because, um, in a previous incarnation, I was a sailor I was a pirate is what I was. I was a pirate in love with the mermaids ever since. I just, I can't eat seafood. But I've always, as far as the past life stuff, I want to get the past life regression therapy. That would be so badass. Um, I've always felt drawn to pirate lore since I was a kid. I, I loved the pirate movies. And so I thought, and I've made the joke numerous times. I won't get into it, but that I was a very hedonistic, crazed, wild pirate. I had a lot of sex and I drank a lot and I stole a lot of gold. And so I'm paying for it now. <laughs> okay, so um, Morton's was just, and I'm not gonna go the TMI route. I like to keep things real, but um, I'll put it in my story, Five of Pentacles, the TMI, and I'll just keep this kind of clean, I guess. So I went drunk shopping. That's what I did. I went in Spencer's and I was just a 12 year old in a candy store. Um, yeah, I'm a 50 year old white woman who lives in a gated subdivision, but just keeping it real with the death row. 
records, 1991, that's the year I graduated from high school. Uh, I remember I was living with my Scorpio friend. Uh, one of the times that I was on a break from the Capricorn, I went on Craigslist and this woman needed a roommate. She had this, uh, this house in East San Antonio. And so I got a room and I was blasting boys in the hood and she was on the phone with a friend. She said, yeah, my roommate is blasting Easy e in her room. Uh, on the way to Morton's, I was playing my Full Moon and Capricorn playlist and Too Short Pimpology came on. And you know, Too Short says in the song, he says riding around Oakland in a Cadillac and the exit Too Short was from Oakland. I said, you didn't know that? Yeah, a too short was from Oakland. I don't know how he didn't know that too short was from Oakland. He's never been a too short fan. He doesn't really listen to rap. Um, but his son was a rapper in the early 2000s. When we got together in 2004, his son was a rapper and uh, he was on stage with too short at some point. He opened for too short somewhere in New Mexico. Uh, but the ex spent a lot of time in Oakland in the 90s. He was working for the Hells Angels. He was working security. He was on various movie sets. He met Sean Penn and Robin Williams and all these people. Um, he played the drums in various rock bands. And this is when, well, when he first got started, this is when Nirvana and uh, Soundgarden, Alice in Chains, Pearl Jam, they were all coming out and he knew people who made it. He just, he didn't make it, but he was good. I've never, I've never seen him play the drums, but I know that he was a good drummer. Um, he has a book at Amazon tells from the tweak side. He was a meth dealer, uh, could have gone to San Quentin, but he had white privilege and hot privilege. He looked like Matt Dillon in the 90s. So anyway, uh, he got pulled over riding dirty once, and that's that's a whole thing. He got pulled over riding dirty a couple of times, but he had a horseshoe up his ass. Okay, so I'm not really a fake nail kind of person. I've done numerous picket cards wearing fake nails, but... They don't stay on for any length of time because I like to shred on the guitar. I don't know any chords, but I like to shred on the guitar and I'm always doing things. I'm always flossing my teeth and stuff. But yeah, look for these on a pick a card. I want to do a pick a card in a few hours at Siren Tayro. And I did a video for Leo at this channel before I went to Morton's. Super short, four minutes, 50 seconds. I'm not gonna commit to doing all of the signs. That's just ridiculous. I'm not that energetic. Uh, like Hank Williams Jr. sang in that song, the hangovers hurt worse than they used to. I'm not into cats, but I was drunk and it just appealed to me, the cat tarot and the chick the employee, the Spencer's employee. Oh yeah, I've got that. It's really good. I said, I have a YouTube channel. I, I do tarot on YouTube. She wasn't impressed, but, um, you know, a lot of people, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that you shuffle tarot on YouTube. Okay. So I've been going to Spencer's since the eighties, since I was a teenager. And this is the first time that I've ever seen a wall of vibrators in Spencer's and I just couldn't resist with this. I've got a vibrator collection. This is absolutely the star. Um, your orgasm will be on cute overload, but don't be fooled by that adorable face. This vibe delivers the goods. Please charge the vibe for one and a half hours before first time using it. Yeah, that's really cool. The head comes off and you charge it up. Um, the cashier tried to upsell me on the cleaner. I guess it's really basic of me, but I've just always used face soap or hand soap and water for my vibrators. Okay. And then on a dark desert highway, I mean, how could I resist that? 
I'm pretty sure my parents had the Eagles on an 8-track. I probably heard Hotel California more than any other fucking song throughout my life um, on the radio and stuff. But to me, it's a magical song. It's one of those songs that never really loses its appeal. Um, I was never a big Fleetwood Mac fan, but lately I've really been into Gypsy. I've got that on a few playlists. Gypsy, Fleetwood Mac to California, Eagles. It's all connected. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Well, the little cat is just peeking out there. I love that. I noticed all the details. It's the Virgo in my chart. Virgo rising, Virgo moon, sun and Venus in the sixth house. And then it's pretty much how I go through life. Eat a bag of dicks. Telling people, you know, you should think about eating a bag of dicks. So that's what I got. Thanks for watching. Peace out.